Hey, today I'm in one of my favorite places ever, uh, Sheer Lake up at Camp Bear Cow. I want to tell you, one of the treasures of my heart, I'm a series of messages that I sometimes use, and maybe even a book I'm going to write someday in which I share things that are a treasure to me, treasures of my heart. And, and here's one of them. Try to see people the way God sees people. Try to see people the way God sees people. What's their past been like? What's going on in their life now? And, and what's their future going to be like? What does God want to do with them now? What is Satan trying to do with them now? I've mentioned this before in a video, but I haven't told you this story. You see, here's one of the ways that came to me. When I was in college, I was in a singing group with a guy as a friend named Jerry. And, and I didn't get along too well with Jerry. We never fought or disagreed, but we just didn't hang around together too much. I realized later on it's probably because Jerry was outgoing and so was I and we sort of competed for people's attention. At least that's probably how I saw it. But when we stayed out in his hometown, they, they sent us home with him to his home to stay overnight. And he was a farm boy from Kansas and we drove down a dirt road to his humble farmhouse and his little brothers and sisters all uh, came out on the porch and came to uh, see him and they had dinner that night as I remember it was good farm food and and then we all sang hymns around the piano and went up to bed we went up to bed two beds in the room Jerry was in one I was in the other and there was a little baseball glove a little baseball mitt baseball baseball uh, bat little Kansas City Royals pennant on the wall and just before we went to sleep I said to Jerry so Jerry who's uh, whose bed is this and he said it's my little brother's I said well where is he sleeping tonight right then Jerry said well my little brother drowned when he was 10 and when Jerry said that, I had a wave of love come over me for him that's never gone away. And he never irritated me after that because I knew a little bit more about him. And so maybe when you're tempted to be irritated with people, try to see people the way Jesus sees people and ask what's their past been like and what's going on right now in their life and what's their future going to be like and uh, see people the way Jesus sees people. That's a treasure for my heart today.